What's going on guys? Welcome back to PFI Speed. It is race day here at Vandermeer Speedway. We have had just the, one of the wildest weekends of qualifying and eliminations from a past event. That, oh man, I'm, I'm still jazzed up. It was incredible. Here's my man Gordita. Yeah. How are you doing, bro? I whether I should sign it up and push it over to the car show. Well, yeah, of course. Win a reward for most broken in the yeah. car show. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Gordo on his pass yesterday, do you want to let him know what you did? Yeah, I, I turned it up and, uh, on the fuel tech, which probably isn't a good idea for me to do. To do. <laughs> and uh, it cracked a sleeve. It cracked a sleeve. So. But that, those things happen. Yeah. We've already got sleeves back at the shop for you, so yeah. it'll be Never good to go again. problem again with those sleeves. No, <laughs> not at all. But we're going to get set up for the day, get everybody positioned, and uh, find out where we need to be, cool. and uh, get ripping. Brian with some foreshadowing. Yeah, Rufus! But let's talk about Troy for a second. These guys spent all night long putting a crankshaft, clutch, flywheel, new damper on this little hot rod. Got it started at four o'clock in the morning and now they're here for first round. So that we are trying to finish our second event of PSEA also here in qualifying. So uh, these two are paired up now. Uh, he faced, Troy faced Derek last night. They both ran their personal best of 890s. Uh, Derek went 890, he went 896, cut him on the tree. It was such a rad race, it was super, super fun. Part of the Utah Mafia, and uh, now they're here today. So, so now he's got Morgan on his hands, and Morgan is very consistent, but it is drag racing and things happen every day. So let's see what happens here. They just got this car back together. This is exciting. Here we go. Morgan has made himself just a bracket car. Troy just getting into the eights. See where this goes. Oh, we got Steven Matthew, my kiddo. Turbo fell off yesterday. Had some bolts back out, but he found some. Got it worked out. Gets Brian in the far lane. No. Tell me that didn't feel good. That was 
So if you'd have got that one-two ship, that'd have been your ten. Just so you know. Yeah, I know. The it like pulled you all over the place. The sixty foot was slower than when I did the twelve seven. One seven seven five zero. That's where you just lost it all. Yeah. Eleven zero. 138 miles an hour. Look, you went from 104 at the half track to 138. Boy, you got some power in that thing. That thing got any sleeves in it or block art or nope. what? What's in it? Does it got forged pistons or anything? Nope. <laughs> Living on the edge. <laughs> Love it. It's got a catch pan. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> single jingle that could. Dude, single cam in the tens. It's great. 124 mile per hour. I was so happy. Lost my voice, like I said. <laughs> and I'm like, I already did both lanes. I'm like, there's Chris. Yeah, yeah, perfect. I'm like, I'm gonna race Chris. I've got my Hans on and I turn it over. I'm like, it's Jamie. I know it's just qualifying, but. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> but it's still a race. It's still. It's still Jamie and Chris. Oh, God, that would have been Number nine qualifier. Nine, 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 nine one is number eight qualifier. Dude, McBride is <laughs> That's number awesome. eight. That is hey, wild. Nice, nice man. You have, you have hobby. My buddy. Green is there. Oh, okay, two, call him Bye Morgan. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Two, laughs> that's all you get. All you guys? Yeah. Oh, oh, don't say, don't say. Oh, <laughs> hey, don't hey guys. Don't <laughs> <that shit. laughs> no, normally, but if you set it up on a T like that, I'm not going to just. <laughs> <laughs> Someone tell me to go home and take a nap. Oh, we like to party. Man, amazing. Look at, look at the numbers here in Pro M4. What do you think? That's a fast class. Unbelievable. We're going to go ahead and give our, oh, Brent right there. Everyone, <laughs> big hand to Brent and Jamie, bringing this class to the mountain. Let's go. Hell yeah. Brian and Chris, they give us some money to give to our, uh, a, a random qualifier. Four. 14 in pro import is Borat. Borat. How about that? Bora. Well, this guy is always taking the money. Oh, he's not here. Oh. Poor Bora Tork. Not to, look at this. We're going to roll this again. Okay. Dang, if Bora. You know, remember, yeah, Bora won it last time and wasn't here. All right, here we go, number one more roll. Number two. Number 12 is Josh Scott. Josh Scott. Oh. How about that? You can get yourself a new crank sensor. Woohoo! <laughs> So after probably the second elimination, second elimination round, you guys are probably used to it now. It'll probably go a little, little quicker. So everyone, be ready, be on your game, and uh, I appreciate you guys coming out. You're a great addition to our program, and I appreciate everybody. We're gonna turn the mic over to Jamie here. Give you guys a few words of wisdom. Oh, the, oh, I forgot about our our bounty. We got a bounty on Morgan Orchard today. Two hundred and fifty dollars. I, I, I already forgot the number of, the, what was the company? DCS Guns. DCS Guns. So you get $250 of anything they sell. So if anybody beats Morgan Orchard today, how about that? Put I'll a put another from a gun shop. Cash in too, man. <laughs> oh, and we're putting another 250 on it. This, 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 this is the Let's team. do 500 bucks, man. There it is, $500. Oh. 750. 750. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> how about, how about Let's that? go. Whatever's in Chris's pocket. <laughs> 750 dollars. That's 500 cash. 250 gift cert. Someone's gotta put Morgan Orchard on the trailer before the final round. How about that? Woo! All right. I'm gonna turn uh, the mic over to to Jamie here. Once again, thank you guys. Thank you. All right, I'll need the mic. So guys, a couple things we wanted to go over. <laughs> so the couple things, guys, two-stepping, doing your pits. I know everybody knows something happened in the staging lanes last time. Don't two-step there. Two-step in your pit. Make sure there's no kids around and stuff. The rear-wheel drive guys and that don't always have the best opinion of us. So just try and be respectable, nothing in the staging lanes. Um, something else we've noticed, staging a car. If you have a crew guy helping you, make sure they know how to do it. We've had a lot of problems with feet staging cars. There's a lot of misruns and all that kind of stuff because the guy's putting their feet in. If you don't know how to do it, find somebody that knows how to do it. Max is good at teaching people, Brent, me, 
Josh, there's quite a few people here that can teach you how to stage your guy's car in the beams. Put your foot on it, find where the light is, move your foot away, pull your guy to your foot, and then get the heck out of there. And let them know how good job everybody's doing. Yeah, there, so. and you guys, everybody's doing great. Like, we never imagined the turnout would be like this. Everybody's working together, you know. It's, it's impressive. Everybody's doing personal best. It's like, the pro class is fast, the street class is fast. Hell yeah. So Derek has a cracked engine block, so they're just gonna come up, break the beams. They're hoping Josh has an issue, and uh, see. Unfortunately, Derek had a crack block for the round win. And uh, so Josh Scott still wanted to be round, here so, and you know, uh, participate. Both guys. 
Ryan and Jamie. That's, maybe that's the trick. Morgan Orchard with a pie run. He's going to lay it up. Love when they just go for it. Even on a single, when you're making a lick, you're getting data, you're figuring it out, you're solving the car. You can hurt things, but sometimes there's still time to fix that. And you get valuable information. on those 10 second slips. Job, Alex. Dude, dude Jamie. Flying, dude. Flying. Flying. Trying, to, trying to chase down that boat. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. All right, the pros are coming up. First round here, we got Josh Scott versus Alex Soda. All-wheel drive Civic versus rear-wheel drive Civic. This is going to be amazing. last round but Alex you're killing it you're doing work it's great to watch all right here comes our next pair Dang it. Dang it. 
Let's go red by That looks great. You're crushing it. That is so cool. Look at you go. I appreciate it. It's so awesome. All right, so I was talking to Ryan McBride, and uh, he said he's been super gun shy ever since the crazy wheelie. He comes up, he, and he said he instantly just lets out. So we're gonna see right now how he's gonna do. Freshly prepped track, and uh, he ought to go. He does not have first gear anymore, so he's launching in second gear. There's a bounty on Morgan Orchard right now, $750 to the winner. So we are anxious to see if the bug can do that today. Great work, boys. Morgan goes another round. All right, we got Mr. Anderson looking to take over. You saw him in the Matrix. Now he's out here doing his thing. I love that about Taylor. He took the by run. He took got the data. He got his best time yet. That's the way you do it. All right, we got Travis. Here we go. So we got A.A. Ron in the far lane. A.A. Ron looking for his 10 second time today. The sport class is huge! Chris Phillips coming in. and he has a problem and he pulls it aside. Hold on, hold on boys, hold on. My man is telling him to snap it for a sec. We need to check this out. All right, here we go. That beautiful black EG in the far lane gets you. These guys got some gorgeous little rides. They're here to rip them, so let's check this out. Jay in the far lane. 
Steven has gone 11-0 today at 138 miles an hour, searching for that tent. Versus the Garage Idiots and Mena. Mena and his V6 Civic. This thing leaves like an absolute monster. Doesn't take much for him to come up and rip it. Barely has to rev it up and it just flat out has the torque to just pull away. But I never count out Austin. No race up. So that's going to do it for this round of eliminations for the pro and the sport classes. These guys are working hard and every, just about everybody this whole weekend has had their personal best. What's up, dude? It's good to see you, man. But they've all had their own personal best and they've been just kicking butt. I can't, I'm so stoked for everybody and it's so humbling to see them all just coming around. The race is just going to keep getting better. And uh, I can't wait till the final race of the season. We've got one more, and these guys are working hard to bring you guys just the raddest events. Keep watching, and uh, we'll be back with next round. Dan going rounds. I thought it was the nine, bro. Uh, not quite yet. His turbo's hurt Don't, for sure. You left so good. It felt pretty good. That was, that's what I'm saying. That was awesome. Got him on the light too, so I was, I was happy about that. Yeah. The fact that this turbo's hurt, Says a lot though. This turbo has been around since. Yeah. You know what year? I think three? we got that Four? in 2003. I think it was three. So it was right when we first became warehouse distributor. And look at this shirt. For, That's oh. all the PFI Speed logos, the old ones. Yeah, this is an old shirt. <laughs> I love that shirt though. I've got one too. It just hangs. Mine's quite dirty. I got real oh, dirty today. That is cool. I'm sure some of you guys want one of these logos brought back, so maybe in the yeah, comments. let us know which yeah, one. Let us know which one. I don't know, say bottom left, right left, middle, yeah. whatever. But that's cool. Well, you did good, you moved on, and uh, you go another round, and so yeah. you still shoot for that nine, even if that turbo is huffing and a puffing. Just make sure she's full of oil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Yeah, thanks. Mario. All right, man, so we pulled this charge pipe off to put the bigger uh, catch can in there. Forgot to plug us in five pounds the whole way down the track. No. So, yeah, I could have had that one, but uh, it was a good race. It was. <laughs> it was good till you just didn't have any power. Yeah, I was like, why am I still in third? Uh, up at the top. Dang it. Well, next time. Yeah, should still be good. Yep. Well, Chris, going rounds. Yeah, now I got to race my brother. Oh, really? Yep. The Phillips brothers are back at it. Yep. Is there money on this? 
Well, not yet. Javi's trying to put money on it with Sean. Of course. But Javi wants Chris, and I'm like, I gotta go with Chris. I built this car. I don't work on that car. Well, I'll go with Rufus. <laughs> Javi, Javi I'll take Rufus. I'll take Rufus. Javi, 20 here. And they come around. On you? I thought it's you were betting Sean. He don't want. He don't want to take a bet. I, I, I'll take the bet. I put the money with you. What the I know. No, but he, he put the money on you too. Whatever. So, 20 bucks. 20. I'm taking Brian. Give me a laptop! <laughs> hey, he wants it turned up. At least max that bitch out. <laughs> he can drive. How are you going to do Steven like that? Look at that poor young kid. I went for a Sunday drive. And you know what? Look. We're hugging right now. <laughs> if he were to Left win, on the track. we would still hug right now. Yep, yep. next time he'll get you. He hug. dropped 138 earlier today, so he's I hungry. told him, I said, I, I want to see a 10. Come on. I think I think we need to do the whole suspension tuning like yep. yours, because that thing picks up about 10 feet off the ground. Front tires just about come off the ground. Yeah, right now has everything. Really, yeah. We, we can race anymore. We got to do it. Yep. But good job, Steven. Good job. You gave it your all. Yep. And good job, Jay. Very cool. See you next round. Thanks, Steven. Vacuum line came off to this cheap boost gauge that we were using. I don't know. Dang, that's all the boost gone. All of it right there. I have 20 on Chris, <laughs> you and guys he have 20 on you. Yeah, it's because he knows. Rufus is the underdog. Rufus is the underdog, but I know this man, if we give him the tune up, he will shift it and he will prick up a W. Great, we got Courtney Green in the far lane. Courtney's just a killer tuner. Out here joining the crew. This is awesome. All right, we got Courtney Green in the far lane. That beautiful carbon fiber EG Civic versus Mr. Anderson in the white EG Civic.
and here he is in the semi-finals. All-wheel drive sick. He's got a monster in the other lane though, Morgan Orchard. He is the most winning driver of the PSCA. Here we go! Crushing it, they were on it, and I can't wait to see the final. Courtney versus Morgan, and there is a bounty on Morgan for this race. So this is gonna get a, this is gonna be a super exciting final. So get ready, and uh, here comes the sport class. We got Shu in the far lane. Shu's been knocking out some 10:30s. Versus Travis, and Travis has been 9.50 this weekend, and he is crushing it. The car's really fast, so I'm really anxious to see what happens this round. Beautiful cars. You having problems in the far lane. Okay, I've got $20 on this race on Rufus. Rufus is the underdog, and I just love that hot rod. Brian's driving style, it's really fun. Javi's got Chris, beautiful little green Civic. The Brothers Race. Uh, we'll get in Rufus. We'll get that. We'll get that sucker in the nines also. Oh man, Dan Willoughby. Dan has been on a mission to run nines in this beautiful little city. The turbo's been on there since 2003. It's on its way out, so you'll see a little smoke on that one. But that's all right. Still not. 1095, 132. Oh, we got Maine in that far lane. He's been crushing it. Searching for that nine against Jay Lopez. Jay has had. Jay has been ripping some nine second passes off this weekend. Beautiful little Civic. Something going on at Manus car. They're pushing that one back. Jay is having a problem with closing and latching the trunk. So those guys are working on that. You know, crazy things happen when you come to the line. Everything works all the time and all the lanes and all the pit. Then you get to the line and stuff just gets weird sometimes. And that's just how it goes. So he's gonna run with a trunk open this lap. And uh Here we go. Takes a single. All right, so that's gonna do it for the sport class and the pro class. These guys, they were flying, man. I'm just can't say enough. 
This event is getting bigger, badder. These guys are getting more consistent, faster, and they're working hard on it. You guys have been watching since the beginning. You can see their growth. You can see our whole, you can see our whole events growth. And uh, we're super stoked about it all and cannot wait to see where it goes. I'm stoked you guys are all involved with us. And my man King from IAG. Oh, yeah. Yee so great. Awesome. I'm super stoked. This was this was fantastic. So we're gonna get everybody lined up, prepared up, and uh, we're gonna be back here for the semifinals of the sport class and the finals of the pro class. Let's go. Yep. Got like five pounds on me. Whatever, dog. <laughs> Chases the race. That was a round two. Yeah. Court. Courtney Green. Man, he could win the bounty today. Good. Pretty dang close. Yep. That was uh that was a rip. Does he have Courtney next pass? Or does he have I don't know how the pass? ladder I don't know how the ladder's going. Jay, I think I'm just gonna put the line to the What top. about Alex? Yeah, dude. That was the that nine. Civic had all those crazy fuel problems. All this madness with it. Like it's gonna go a nine point. It's he, he went ten nine last night. Yeah. No, what was that, a 30 or 20? That was a 40, but he went 30 earlier today. Yeah. It might have been a 30 that lap, too, yeah, honestly. That was a 30, uh, yeah. Yes. Jay. Jay's, I think I just want to put the line to the top of the gate. Sounds okay. like he has uh, Travis. Yeah, that's all you can do. That's what I would do. That's, that's what I said. Well, well what, 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 does it have it all out of the first gear anyway? It has all the boost all the time. So, yeah. Timing. Yeah, why would it mean? Like, it ain't gonna change anything. We've got those stupid old cans that aren't degreed. Yeah. So I was trying we need something to get that we know that did it right away. Yeah, I've talked him into, I've talked him into getting cams, and he wants to do axles for sure. Yeah. And we're doing yeah. fuel tanks. So, so we might need some Banshee parts. He's got a bunch of <laughs> Banshee parts for sale. Here we go for the final round of the Pro Import class here at. PSEA, our third race of the year, and this is just getting exciting. Let's go. Both cars have gone in the 870s. Whew. We're gonna see a lap right now. So sit back, guys, relax, get pumped up, and let's rip. Let's go. Let's go. Here it is. Is this gonna cost you $250? Hopefully. There we go. Not a bad way to spend my money. Well, I've got a bounty on Morgan. Ah! So, if Courtney wins, I think he's going to be up $750. There are three of us that put in 250 bucks. So, let's put 50 bucks on the side. We'll put 50 bucks on the side. <laughs> sure. I'm down. I'm always down. I love betting with you. Alright, so I got $50 on Courtney. Over Morgan. Morgan is consistent. Consistently fast, consistently here, and doing his job. We put a bounty on him. We put the bounty on him to encourage him to push their stuff. So here we go. I'm gonna freaking come down here. I'm gonna get a little past 60. We're gonna see this whole thing as it plays out. Real time, right here. Oh, guys. Crews are all getting them in. Chris Jane, put cord in. All right. Here we go.
I'm out the money. 145, 157. Yeah. Courtney could not complete the Can't even believe mile, that just and happened. Morgan Orchard is your winner. That took home the that, number. Kind of looks like they both kind of, you know, they knew they were racing a fast car, turned the screws up, and both. I owe you 50 bucks. Bora, Bora is a betting machine, and I love it. I've lost more money to Bora, I think, than anyone. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure double or nothing, right? And I'll lose again. I know, I know you're playing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Man, Court just had to get it in back in gear and could have done that too. Oh. Something happened. Heart drop. I know. I was like, no. And then I was like, no. Well, that was anticlimactic, but. Travis has been consistent. Dan has been working. So this is the semifinals for this. This is the semifinals for the sport class. Dan has been working hard. Travis has been working hard. Ugh. Oh. You guys are all worth it today. Let's go, boys. Dan gets some smoke. 10-13, 144 to a 967, 154. Yeah, Dan was trying. Boy, I tell you what. Travis Probably just lost the turbo. He was kind of rolling at that tree. Dan had had a turbo problem all day, since last night, actually. So they're going to check the lane, and then we're going again. Yeah, I love it. Thank you, man. All right. Chris Phillips versus Jay. Han Dana versus Fuel Dick. Coming up right now, both 92 to 5 Honda Civics, one a hatchback, one a coupe. Both cars, nine seconds. That was one hell of a race. That's what it's about, man. Yay! There's that wagon. Look at Brian's wagon. That is tough. I want to see that. So, the guys will gear up. We'll get the sport guys back down here. We'll have their final. Such good racing. Super fun. All right, we're in the finals of the sport class. We got Chris Phillips and Brett Cowell. Better luck next time, know, Chris. It was putting in a lot of good licks, that's for sure. We're going to run the finals from our PSCA race two right now. And in the finals was Morgan Orchard and Mr. Anderson. So here they are lining up. And uh, we're going to get Morgan just. 
Just had a little problem on his last final round. He managed a 10-5 at 157. Jab bobble against him, Mr. Anderson. We got the finals done for our second PSEA race. We got our finals done for the third one. And Morgan took them both. <laughs> He's hauling ass, man. Hell yeah. What? That's going to do for today. Yeah. And we just beat the rain. We did. We had a little car. We didn't need the rain again. So thank goodness we beat that. But both postponed races were because of rain. Too rad.